Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today it's time for me to begin a new playthrough. Now, this is a fan game made by Goldwater DLS, and I like the fact that there's a health warning right off the bat here. It's nice to know that this game cares about your health. Inspired by Capcom. And yes, this is a Mega Man fan game. I like that picture there. It was the year 20XDX and Earth had finally achieved an extended period of peace. Dr. Wily seemingly vanished, permitting the world to focus once more on two progress. However... That is one thing I like about this game, Dr. Wily is nowhere to be found. Mega Man, fearing this peace would not last, recruited eight willing robot masters and began training them to combat any force of evil should it dare arise. I love their poses there. To aid Mega Man's coaching, Dr. Light created a new robot, Justice Man. Justice Man would possess abilities and weaponry similar to Mega Man's. And he would also share Mega Man's strong sense of justice. Shouldn't Justice Man's eye have a pupil and iris there? One fateful day, a group of robots began rallying against their creators. That's not good. You must forgive any initial show of force. I had wished for a peaceful evacuation of human personnel. But some of my comrades were simply too zealous. None were injured, and it will remain that way if... Ellipsis. Boy, he's freaky. You remain off of our premises. Our purpose will be made clear to you soon enough. How did those reporters reach him anyway? <laughs> News of the rebellion spread rapidly throughout the world, causing panic. I just love the way that reporter looks there. However, Mega Man saw this as an opportunity to test his team, the Rock Force. Ro Ro looks so cute, cuddled up to Dr. Light like that. He sent the Rock Force out to subdue the rebellious robots. But none of the team returned. Oh no. Text is a little slow here, but not as slow as some of the other games. With communications down, Mega Man knew he had to act. I love his pose there. I'll get to the bottom of this. Oh yes you will, Mega Man. You are the protagonist here. He looks so cool on here. I'll save my friend and bring those re uh, rebels to justice. If I can speak English. <laughs> so yeah, we have Mega Man Rock Force here. And you can hear the music in the background. and. Like I said before, the, the main thing I like about this game is that you don't have to deal with Dr. Wily at all. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not even going to spoil things for you, but as you can see here at the start, there's game start, load, save, and there's also options and not that you can choose from, so... I'm just going to let you listen to the rest of the music here. Oh crap, I guess not. <laughs> Six months before the rebellion. Sorry about that, guys. I thought the music was going to last longer than that. Mega Man, I have troubling news. There's been an emergency surge at a nearby electric plant. Now, the robots working there have started malfunctioning. You and Justice Man must go and stop the robots. I hope nobody has already been injured. Seems to me that this game's gonna lag. I do apologize in advance for this. Yeah, there's a bit of lag. Mega Man, I'll search the other entrance for human workers. Good luck, brother. I love Justice Man's design here. Now, as one would expect, the intro stage here isn't too bad, though. That could change because this game is lagging quite a bit, so I do apologize for that again. One thing I should say right off the bat is that, there, as far as I know, there's no 
controller uh, compatibility here. I'm playing this solely on the keyboard, which I have to admit, as often as I play this game, I'm still not used to it, so... But yeah, the enemy threats aren't too bad here, as long as you're careful. Some of the jumps in here could be tricky, especially if your game lags like mine is right now. Another thing I should say, which you can probably tell by the platforms there, I am playing on easy mode here. Just so, that way it'll eliminate any, well, as few uh, screw-ups as possible. Or should I say that it would, uh, I should uh, screw up less time because of me being on easy mode, and um... Also on my options, I also set where the spikes are not lethal, and, although they do take a quarter damage each time. And I'm also starting the game on 9 lives each, so just so there's no surprises there, I decided to really give myself a little bit of a cushion on this in case something terrible goes on there. But while I was talking there, you could see there was a bunch of uh, shield attackers there. They're not too hard to deal with. Now here's this uh, intro stage's main gimmick, which I think is pretty cool. You have to shoot those squares up there to light them up. Now these mitts, you take care of them just by jumping up and making sure you get them out of the shelter and just shoot them by doing a ricochet off these orange drums right here. Oh, this game is lagging. I, I really feel bad for this guy. Okay. Now just gotta bounce off the mech here. These mechs shouldn't be too bad to deal with as long as you're careful. And positioning counts here too. Now eliminate this enemy and open that up. Oh, look, that's just this man again. What's he up to? All the workers seem to have evacuated safely. Well, that's good. Also, all hostile robots have been neutralized. Doesn't look like it, Justice Man. Looks like there's at least one robot there that's willing to kick some ass. <laughs> well, hello there. You look kind of imposing. Dang. It's like they're on the moon or something. I, I, I just feel bad about this lag. I really do. Now, this boss is relatively simple. All you need to do is do these ricochet shots up here, while at the same time you jump out just as he extends his arm right here, just so you don't get hit by those electrical waves there. And just keep on hitting him, he's gonna switch sides eventually here. Well, maybe not. <laughs> just keep an eye whenever he extends his arm like that, just jump out of the way. This really should be an easy fight. As a matter of fact, there should be no reason why you should take any sort of damage on here, as long as you're vigilant. And he looks to be behaving, he looks to be staying on one side here. And there we go, there's that boss done. And... We gotta see what's up with Justice Man here. Okay, we're just gonna continue on here. Here's another cutscene coming up. I'm completely baffled, Mega Man. Functionally, he is completely operational. However, the shark altered his mental matrix rather strangely. Tests revealed no change in his behavior, but still. I can't be certain. Try to keep an eye on him and report anything unusual. Unusual spelled wrong there, but whatever. I will. I'm still trying to figure out why his hair is blue, though. Shouldn't it be black? Oh, there's Justice Man. Present day. And here are your eight robot masters in this game. And before I leave, I should mention, just keep an eye out on Charade Man's portrait here. Right now he looks pretty serious looking, but it changes throughout the playthrough, so... Next time I'll show you with the first robot master I'll be facing. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the series. I know I'm going to enjoy playing it. And I will see you guys again next time.